G'day team, Adam Cogan here from SSW TV. And today I'm here in Newcastle with Chris Hoogworth. Adam, how are you? Excellent, I am very excited to talk about this topic. Uh, so we are going to talk about uh, Newcastle's coolest building. We have a great building during the day and it's got the iconic mural, it looks awesome. And at night, it's dead, or it was dead. So I just want to talk through the process of what we did uh, and uh, you know, try to let people uh, see the, what we put together. Yep. Essentially, the goal was to put up some lights that were configurable because we never really knew what it was going to, what would be the perfect lighting design. So you got the, the Hunter Street wall and you installed a whole bunch of lights. Yep. Now, they're DMX lights. They are. What's DMX lights? DMX are configurable lighting, mostly used for stage lighting, mm -hmm. um, sort of like concerts and whatnot, but we can use it for our system to make something fancy. Great. All right, so once you installed all the lights, you then map them out. We do. So let's have a quick look at that. Yep, sure. Okay, so um, this is our diagram that we built together. Yep. Um, down lights, spotlights, and addresses. So each light has um, four addresses, mm. um, starting this one starting at 41 to 44, mm. uh, 41 being red, 42 being um, green, um, uh, 43 being blue, and then 44 being white. Right, so each one has four. It does. And there's two going down uh, and there's one, one going up. One going down, two going up. Okay, all right. Okay, so you put all that together yep. and now you've got your mapping. Yep. From this point, yep. what's the next step? So the next step, once we've got all the configuration, all the mapping going, we will go to our configurator. Okay, so DMX configurator, we set up our scenes within this. Um, mm -hmm. As you can see, 41 to 44 is our first down light. Um, now, how does this map to down the bottom right, the, the lights? Yep, okay, so uh, this is our first light that we're gonna configure, um, down light. Uh, first address is channel 41. Um, we, we're working with the scene off yes. uh, at the moment. Uh, the first step, which shows here, will be off. Okay. Um, if we go to... So uh, scene off is when the whole building is black. That's when it shuts down. Right. Yeah. So it will, it will do the command and it will run through the steps. Okay. Um, for this particular one here, scene off will give us a white scene for two seconds. Um, to show that everything's on and then scene two will be off. Okay, got it. All right, cool. Let's go to a, a more colorful one. Sure, yep, so rainbow scene. All right, so each scene um, will start off with a certain color mm -hmm. and we'll go through each step that we want the scene to do. Um, we can fade at that scene, um, which will mix the colors. We can also do a wait time on each scene. So as each step goes by, it will change to what we will need it to do. After we've done that, um, then when we need to test that scene, uh, we'll test it by hitting play and it will run through the scene and what the lights will do um, physically. Very cool. All right, so now you've got this, this nice simulation. Yep. What is the next step after you've, you know, you've done this? Okay, so the next step, uh, we know that we've got these scenes. Uh, we want to check to make sure that the scenes are within our extension. Mm -hmm. um, so we go to extensions, we'll check out the internals. Um, we can see here that the scene outs, all our scenes are populated here within this, this window, which is mm -hmm. what we want to see. Mm -hmm. um, so after that, we need to create an address. Now, how we do that is we create it through um, KNX. Okay, so now we've got the ETS configurator. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, thing that talks to the physical hardware brain. Yep. And that allows us to use our mobile phones to turn lights on and off and yep. do anything. Correct. Okay, so what have you set up here? Okay, so first we've got our ground floor. Yeah. Um, our ground floor has lighting blinds. That's doors. where we're standing right now. It is in the, within the SSW office in Newcastle. Mm. Um, so we've created group addresses for each of these items um, to control each individual part, that, yep. such as lighting, alarms, um, doors. Yeah. Um, same thing for commons. We've got our toilets, um, our cameras, and our emergency lights. Okay, so that's all for the for the shared areas. It is. Okay. Yep. Exactly and right. now we get to the exciting bit, Yep. the south lights on Hunter Street. That's right. Um, so here we have created our scene addresses okay. um, to go within our DMX configurator. 
So Chris, you've got this rainbow scene. How does that talk to your DMX, um, the, the nice scene that you made with all the colors? How do we talk to that? So what I want to do is attach this to the DMX device or DMX uh, configurator. Okay. Um, if I go to devices, yeah. open up devices, you'll see that um, within this tab, um, each device is within here, our sensors, um, to our lighting, um, to our alarm systems. But that rainbow scene doesn't look like it's talking to any lights. Not as yet. So what we have to do is pick out the DMX decoder, which I have here. Oh, yes. Which I've added. So if I pick on that and open that tab up. Now within here, I've attached it to a um, output. Mm -hmm. Now output for rainbow scene is output zero. Yes. So now we're attached to something. So now that, that group address is attached to our DMX configurator mm -hmm. and this knows that once that group address has been um, triggered, mm -hmm. it's going to trigger um, our input within the DMX configurator. Right. Now, do you pull in information from that DMX configurator into here, or do you send this information to the DMX configurator? It's two ways. So it also sees um, when, a, when an input is um, switched. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it, it, it works both ways. It can tell if it's off or on or, right. yeah. But are you exporting this data to the DMX configurator or are you importing from the other? No, I'm exporting this data to the configurator. So how do you do that? Um, so what we want to do is go to our ETS yes. um, up at the top here. Um, we're going to click on our project, which is Newcastle. Yes. Um, and then we'll, we will export from there here. Right. So once we hit export, um, once it's all done, we will create a file. Um, and what do you do with that file on the other side? Okay, so what we want to do now is open up our uh, DMX configurator. Uh, within here, we want to go to the extensions. Once we're in extensions, we'll go to our import oh, yes. file. Okay. And you'll see that the file is here that we just created. And that'll pull that in. And that will create our, our group addresses within the DMX configurator that we just made. Great, okay, fantastic. Yep. And so uh, that's the, the very last bit would be the buttons you put on the UI of the Smart App. It is. So now that we have our group addresses yep. and DMX can to now talk to our KNX system, yes. we need something to control those scenes. Um, so we use um, Gira to control these scenes. Um, so what I've set up in Gira is just our basic function. So this is what um, our screens will look like, whether it be smartphone or our designated touchscreen that we have in here in the office. Yep. Now we've created a commons scene for our lighting. Um, so our commons would be on our south lights six floors. So this is what we created in um, in, ETA, or in in DMX configurator, uh, corresponding with our scenes and our lighting. Uh, so within here, um, I've created different scenes and different buttons. So these are just um, a sort of digital button or a digital switch. Mm. Um, we can turn these off and on. Um, I've created an off scene, um, so we need to create. We need to use the off scene whenever we go to the next um, scene, right. so their colors don't mix. Um, from there, once you once you've turned it off, you can then go to your next scene. Okay, and that's that's the UI I see, and it's that is, beautiful. Yep. Okay, so. In summary, there's a few moving parts here to have this extensible. You buy the right lights, the DMX con Correct. configurable lights. Yep. Uh, then configure them in the DMX config. Yep. Then in ETS, yep. we set the addresses. We do. Yep. And then we go to the nice software for the mobile app, which is the Gira it is. project yep. assistant. Yep, correct. And then you open up your mobile phone and voila, it's yep. all working. That's right, that's how it all talks together. Okay, so here we have the hardware. This is the distribution board. This is the main brains. This is what talks to the app. It's the uh, Gira X1. And if you want remote access, you need this IP router. Uh, this is the DALI gateway, which uh, allows every single light to be turned on or off. Uh, and this turns all power on and off. Now, we also have our blinds that go up and down via the app and automatically, so that's what that's for. And this is only because we have a stage where we wanna be able to remotely turn lights on and off, stage lights and things like that. So that's all the hardware. All right, so there you have it. Um, hopefully you enjoy the light show. This is Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.